Good morning, happy campers. So we were just getting ready to go and we noticed across this little road here, this is like the access road, I guess, right by I-10. And it looks like we got some goats or some sheep right there. Amongst all the cactus. This is a classic, old-fashioned style rest stop. It's well-maintained. It's just not fancy. It's not new. The parking lot isn't as efficient. So this rest area, uh, it's the Sonora Safety Rest Area. It's an old-fashioned rest area. It is... It's not as fancy as other newer ones, uh, but it's well-maintained. So it doesn't... The parking's a little difficult to do as you all have to park next to the curb. That's actually a hard thing to do. We struggled with getting the stairs down. We weren't the only ones either. There was somebody else last night had the same problem. But we utilized boondocking or lot docking at a rest area because we had uh, about a seven hour drive from our home to the uh, state park that we're going to today. So it gave us the opportunity to get some driving under our belt after I was done with work yesterday. And now we'll be able to get to the state park sooner today and enjoy it some more. bathroom is not heated or air conditioned it's open to the outside through vents up there it seems to be fairly decently taken care of but it looks like there's only three toilets on each side interesting looking coverings the shades for the picnic tables are very interesting very unique like they made them art oh look the tables aren't flat are they flat oh they got like some some lines in them so that you can so the rain can go through there's some lights up there does it have electricity something electric out here if you wanted to while you hang out look a purple truck
maybe tied up like that playground right there. So this is the rest area closest to Kerrville. You can see there's another one on the other side. I like the parking situation on this a little better. It's an older one, but it's, it's not as big, but I just, I like being able to come into the parking like this. That no parking sign is just talking about the curb. Looks like a big group picnic area, various other small picnic areas that are covered. And they got the, uh, some of these got the credit card sliders on them. So few of us are actually carrying cash anymore these days. Although that looks a little, <laughs> that looks a little hard to access. They got some stand-up barbecue pits here too. It's like a trail of some kind here that goes back through the woods. So you know, if you can 24-hour boondock at one of these places. And you could bring stuff over here, have yourself a little cookout, a little picnic, use the trash bins. I want to see what this is because one of the rest areas we were at had a dump station. Oh yeah, how great is that? So this is free to use if you're in the area. So you got dumping right there and that says potable water. So if you want to fill up your fresh water tank, looks like a few people are taking advantage. Got picnic areas all throughout the trees back here. So as you can see, the rest areas of West Texas, which I'm thinking of, it's I-10, San Antonio going west. There's a lot more rest areas, there's a lot more picnic areas, a lot more just parking areas that we've seen. Not sure why so much was closed down going east. I mean, there's still a few rest areas going east, and there's some nice ones. But going west, there's a lot more to choose from. Maybe it's because towns are farther apart going west. They're just trying to give the drivers more options. I don't know, but we've been pretty pleased. There's a really nice one out past Fort Stockton. This one's pretty decent by Kerrville. And even the ones that are small and older are well taken care of. They're doing Texas proud. Happy camping, y'all. There's some pink roses there. Beautiful. There's a Kaylin. Kaylin Rose. <laughs>